Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John, Lesson 12, 1 John 5, verses 1 through 5. In this 12th of 15 lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with these 10 topics. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world, except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Although 1 John 5, 1-5, was well preserved across 19 centuries, from the 4th century, certain manuscripts have the following variant readings. At verse 1, most manuscripts insert the word also before the phrase, loves whoever. One manuscript reads, whatever has been born, as in 5-4, instead of whoever has been born. At verse 2, some manuscripts read keep instead of obey. And at verse 5, one manuscript inserts and at the beginning of the verse. One John five verses one through five present the fifth of five great advantages of Christian faith. These verses present one word that has not already been dealt with in the book. Burdensome in early Christian literature generally meant heavy, a metaphor pertaining especially to things or persons that are burdensome because of demands or threats, and therefore a source of difficulty or trouble because of demands made. In 1 John 5, 3, the term means not difficult to carry out, perhaps suggesting that there is no threat for carrying them out imperfectly. In their indicative mood, Greek verbs in the aorist tense often indicate past time with reference to the time of speaking. In contrast, aorist participles usually suggest antecedent time to that of the main verb, whereas outside of the indicative and the participle, time is not a feature of the aorist tense. Thus, 1 John 5 1 reads, Everyone who loves with a present participle, the father, that is, the begetter, a present participle, loves, a present indicative, whoever has been born an aorist participle of him. That is, Christians who love God also love those whom the father has already caused to be born again. 1 John 5, 4 reads, This is 
a present indicative, the victory that has overcome an aorist participle, the world. That is, our faith has already overcome the evil world system. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable points from the passage. For example, the divine logic of faith and obedience. Consult earlier lessons on the meaning of Christ and of Son of God. If there is time and interest, present several false beliefs about Jesus as taught locally by teachers and false religions. If need be, present the historical Christian doctrine of the commandments of God. God gave a commandment to our first parents, Adam and Eve, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over every living thing. But they disobeyed him. Later, to the tribes of Israel, God gave ten commandments, besides many laws, but they disobeyed him. When Jesus came into the world, he gave his followers a new commandment. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Before Jesus died and rose back to life, God commanded his followers, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. And Jesus, of course, taught, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. After someone or several have read or recited 1 John 5, 1 through 5, in small gatherings of learners, pose queries such as these, and let anyone reply. What have you learnt from this passage about God? about Jesus, about being born again, about love. Whilst preaching, teaching, or leading, recommend ways in which to apply the passage or put it into practice. For example, insist on obeying God and on faith in Jesus as Messiah or Christ, the Son of God. Review again several basic commandments of God that Jesus taught. Invite everyone to think about more ways in which to show love one to another, then pray that God himself will visit each one in a fresh way. Invite everyone to put their faith in Jesus to be born of God. Invite everyone to tell about ways in which the world has recently tempted them to disobey God or to deny that Jesus be the Son of God. Then pray one for another to remain faithful to Jesus by obeying his commandments. Please read five times 1 John 5 verses 6 through 13 before you view the next video lesson.